Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, the reading for this coming Sunday, the fifth Sunday of Lent from the Old Testament, is from Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 1 through 14, King James Version. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied there was a noise, and behold a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came unto them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, Our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off from our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves. I bring you into the land of Israel, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. When I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I will place you in your own land. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it, and performed it, saith the Lord. Here ends the reading. Live life. Are you going through life feeling like you have no life? Are you walking around like the walking dead, putting one foot in front of the other simply because that's what you must do? Christ came that we might have life and have it abundantly. God's will is not for us to go around walking as though we are dried out or dead. We are to live in the light of Christ so that we might have abundant life. By the very breath of God, we have been given life. May God bless us that it be a good life. Hear the word of the Lord. Listen to him. Now Paul wrote to the Ephesians in chapter 5, Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and rise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. It is time to wake up and rise from the dead. Be filled with the breath of God, with the Spirit of Christ. Rise up and live life in Jesus the Christ. Amen. <music>